Are you building apps with Kotlin and Compose multi-platform? If you haven't looked at the tech, I did a video recently on why I think this should be the default option for native mobile. Check that out below. The main reason Compose beats other options is the ability to directly include native views on iOS. What about Android, you ask? Well, you're using Kotlin and Compose already. Everything on Android is native. On iOS, you can directly include native views within your Compose UI. We also did a video on that a few months back. Technically, it's not very complicated, but if you want to send your state back and forth between the two, there's a lot of boilerplate involved. Today, we launched the Compose Swift Bridge. It allows you to create a composable expect function. On Android, you just implement the actual function like you would normally. On iOS, the Compose Swift Bridge generates the Swift boilerplate needed to wire this data in automatically. In Swift, all you need to do is then implement the native view like you would normally. This all happens with the help of our tool Sky and some new features that allow you to compile your own Swift directly into your Xcode framework. One of the major problems with KMP libraries is that if you need a Swift side component, you don't know at the time you're writing it what your KMP library is gonna be called, and you don't know the exact name of your Kotlin classes. Well, Sky does. It can automatically replace those for you. If you're considering mobile options and you're thinking Compose Multi-Platform, TouchLab is the industry leader in creating Compose Multi-Platform and Kotlin Multi-Platform applications. If you have an existing team and they want to get help getting started, well, we do that too. So just look in the links below, find us and reach out. We're happy to chat. Let's do a quick walkthrough. First, you want to create a new Compose Multi-Platform project using the JetBrains KMP Project Wizard. Just select Android and iOS. Other targets aren't supported yet. Make sure you select Share UI for iOS. Next, we want to make sure everything's set up correctly at the start. So open your project in Android Studio and let Gradle run. And then when that's done, open Xcode and build the iOS app. If that's not working, you'll have to fix that first because everything else is certainly not going to work. Now, just a heads up, there's a fair bit of config wiring that you need to do in Gradle. Hopefully we can hide some of that in the future, but sometimes Gradle gets complicated. Let's take a quick look at the Kotlin side. The first thing you have to do is add both the Sky plugin and the KSP plugin at the top. Next, make sure you add the Compose Swift Bridge dependency to your common main source set. After that, there's a bunch of stuff you have to do for KSP and the Sky Sub plugin, but just copy paste that. And again, hopefully we can automate that in the future. Finally, some other stuff, just copy paste. Uh, it, it, you only have to do it once. The next step is to create an expect composable function that you're going to call from your common source code, but you have to add our new special annotation and tell it what type of UI view you're going to want on the iOS side. In the Android source set, just implement the composable like you normally would. There's nothing special on that side. In the iOS source set, there's a bit more you have to do. You have to pass in the view factory from Swift, and then there's a composition local provider that you have to wrap everything with so we have access to it. Back over in Xcode, there's a few things you have to do in Swift. You have to create an instance of the factory that we define. That's what Compose calls when it wants to create an instance of your native iOS view. In this example, we're creating a very simple Swift UI view that's just gonna have a text view show up. Would you do that normally? Probably not, but this is a very simple example. With the factory and the view created, all you have to do is then pass the factory into the starting point of your Compose view back in Kotlin. And that's pretty much it. Anytime you change the expect composable function signature, the types that get sent over to Swift will change automatically and you can just add them to your code. That should all be building now. If it's not, go to the Kotlin Slack and find us in the TouchLab Tools channel. And you can also check out in the Compose Swift Bridge repo, we have a sample that has map views of different types so you can see what a more realistic scenario looks like. Thanks to Gabriel who created this library and of course the Sky team who provided a bunch of help and are continuing to make Sky better and better for the Kotlin multi-platform community. Thanks for watching. Again, if you haven't heard about Compose Multi-Platform, please check out the video in the link below.